Uh, so this is a small one. I actually showed this on my live show two weeks ago, but I totally forgot about it um, with yesterday's video on the uh, settings menu um, or the edit settings. Um, so uh, based on uh, SA22C's spoken battery level, um, in my prop file I now have a spoken battery level uh, that will work with the visible battery level. Um, but this one actually, instead of using the, the default, the talky um, of the board, this one actually will let you use the same... Um, uh, uh, wave files that you have for edit mode so you can actually have a, a, a voice that matches the rest of your menus um, so it's going to obviously speak the voltage um, and it'll, it'll, currently in the profile will be hold aux and press power while off battery level 3.83 volts but so now you can actually based on your menu voice you can have the voltage said in the current uh, voice as well um, and with how that'll work, you can actually have different voices for each font if you wanted. Um, obviously, somebody has to come up and make them all. Um, but so just another nice addition to the prop file. Um, I actually edited it a while back, but with everything I was working on for the edit settings, I kind of forgot to put a video together. Um, if you didn't see the edit settings video, it's on my YouTube channel. It was too long to put on Facebook, um, but just lets you basically control the settings throughout the saber and save them. Um, and that was a question that popped up. Um, edit mode will be saving all of the changes you make. So when you change a style, when you change colors, when you change a font, when you change the track, um, when you edit any of the settings for ignition options, ignition times, uh, retraction, pre-on, clash, all, everything gets saved to the SD card. Um, the idea with edit mode is going to be that um, you can make all your edits on the board without having to flash the board. Um, now, because it's going to be saved, all everything will be saved to the SD card. If you wipe your SD card, you'll obviously lose those settings. So, uh, part of the write-up and documentation is going to be um, obviously creating a backup copy after you've made all your edits on the Saber. Um, and there's a lot uh, involved with edit mode in terms of the, how you have to have your style set up in order to make them editable, um, as well as um, you know, uh, there's going to be requirements for your font folders um, in order to have the spoken menu always visible. Um, we actually will have to deactivate edit mode if you have a font that doesn't support um, the uh, spoken menu because you can't obviously run through the menu without the spoken prompts. Um, but so this is just a small addition, so just one more time since this was the topic of the video. So now you'll have spoken battery uh, available in my prop file. And again, it'll use WAV file, so this, the voice will actually be whatever voice you put in uh, for edit mode. Battery level 3.80 volts. So, just another little piece. Um, still a, a lot of little things to do, but the major work has been pretty close to done. Testing and cleanup. Um, I know everybody wants to know when this is coming out. There's, there's still more stuff being worked on. There'll still be cleanup of the code. Uh, Frederick obviously has to give his stamp of approval. Uh, he'll probably help me actually uh, clean up stuff and make it more efficient. And then we'll eventually get to the point where we're alpha testing. And then really after alpha testing is where you know um, how much more work needs to be done, debugging, etc. So still a little ways and a good amount of steps to do, but it's, it's definitely progressing. Um, so uh, I'll keep everybody posted as more is available. Thanks. Hope, hope you enjoy.